conditions in the World Trotting Derby, which was designed to test a trotter's speed as well as endurance, call for a horse or filly, in this case, to win two heats. When there's a split winner, as we had today, then they come back for a race off, and here they are. The two fillies vying for the title World Trotting Derby 1998 for fillies. One is Lassie's Gold, owned by Rompaway Farms, Inc., and Waldo Frankenstein, Marco Mara driving. Two, Latest Lover, owned by Lindy Farms of Connecticut, John Patterson, Jr. When wagering, windows are open. Here they come. They're often trotting on the outside, latest lover on the inside, Lassie's Goal, and they're still that way as they drive toward the turn. Neither driver really wants the front. And on the inside, Lassie's Goal may have to take it because dropping back will be latest lover, and they're going at a leisurely pace now as they drive toward the quarter mile mark. And it's a cat and mouse game. Lassie's Goal was almost forced to the front as latest lover. Determined to be trailing, does that right now as they race to the quarter mile mark. Lassie's goal, Marco Mera, winner of their elimination or their heat, the eighth race, in 154 and two fifths. And trailing is latest lover. She won the fourth race in 155 3. So off the quarter. In a very leisurely 34 seconds, they're on the back stretch and no pressure applied as latest lover, content to wait for John Patterson Jr. And the fact that these fillies probably have never raced the third heat in their career plays into the scene here as Patterson wants to save his filly, and obviously so does O'Mara. So they're loafing through the front half. It'll be a brush to the wire when action unfolds at the top of the stretch unless Patterson moves earlier at the half, 105-1. So while this is a race of endurance, yet it's also a race of common sense, and both drivers are saving their fillies as they trot toward three-quarter because the Breeders' Crown and other important races are yet to come. As a race through the upper turn, Lassie's goal being stalked by Latest Lover, who lets her away only by a length and a half. And now they're midway through the turn. Lassie's goal trots casually. Latest Lover will soon come with a flurry. As they reach the three-quarter mile mark, they're past that station, O'Mara, in 35 and 2, leads past that juncture. And no action yet, top of the lane. Content along the rail is Latest Lover. They turn for home, Patterson will trail as they straighten down the stretch until now. Here he comes on the outside. Here comes Latest Lover, and the drive is on. On the inside, Lassie's goal. Latest Lover firing on the outside, and she's only a half length off the lead. Inside, Lassie's goal fights for her life. Outside, Latest Lover tries to the wire. It's going to be tight. It's a photo, and officially, Lassie's goal has won the World Trotting Derby for Phillies. 202 4 fifths, Lassie's goal. Goal, Mark O'Mara, but that's a photo finish. Lassie's goal, Michigan owned, will move into victory lane. It's only fitting that the most valuable and best fillies in the world be greeted by the number one lady of the state of Illinois, Brenda Edgar. About to make presentation to Mark O'Mara, Duke Johnston, general manager of racing here and at the Illinois State Fair, directing victory lane ceremonies, winning trotting filly by Armbro Goal, who raced here in the World Trotting Derby, from the speedball mother Missy Hadigal. Owned by Rompaway Farms Incorporated of Michigan by Waldo Frankenstein of Michigan. And there she is, the 1998 champion, Lassie's Gold.